Welcome, family. Before we get started, I want to let you know about these two open collabs that I am a part of. The first one is Garden Tour Saturday, and the host is Grandma Sandy. She has co-hosts with Patricia, growing on Vancouver Island, and also So Folk Susie are the co-hosts, and Grandma Sandy is the host. And what you do is you just share what's going on with your garden. If you don't have a garden, maybe you might have a nice house plant. Whatever your journey is, you can share it. Please do a video and put at Grandma Sandy and she'll watch it. And we also will watch your video. The second collab I joined is also another amazing collab. And that is Share Your Plant Success or Disaster Stories with Janita. Well wishes gardening. It's a wonderful collab. All you do is share, you know, maybe something great happened with your plant. You know, you share your success. And there might be some disasters where things just didn't go so well. You could also share that and just put at Janita's Well Wishes Gardening and let her know you've joined the collab. And we will also watch your videos. But family, these are both open collabs. Please check them out. Check all these ladies out. They're just amazing. I'll put all their links and their information in the description. But let's get started. Today is a day that I am doing my fertilizing. I like to do my compost. And what I do after I put all the compost in there and let it uh, soak in some water, I also add some of this fruit tree fertilizer and I put that in there as well. And I put it in all the fruit trees. And I do it, you know, maybe every couple of weeks, you know. Um, you know, with the weather being so hot, you know, I'm just really trying to get these guys a little extra fertilizer, and they seem to be really happy with it. So I'm going to continue giving some of this delicious fertilizer, and then we will do the um, the uh, the plants as well. And I always do this after I do a really good uh, drench. You know, I, I'll water all the trees really good until they start draining. And then the next day, then I'll put the fertilizer instead of just watering them again. I'll water them by using the fertilizer. Here's some of the stuff I'll put in my compost. Like any any bad fruit, you know, I stick it in there. Just throw it in there. You know, bananas, banana peels. Even your sister coffee. You know, I love my coffee. I just you know, break this open and put the coffee grounds in here. Yep. Some people like to just, you know, put it in the soil, but I think it's just as good. Just let it all sit in the water, right? And stir it up. And you could actually use it more than once. Because if you're putting all the bananas in your compost in the, in the dirt, then you can't really use it again. But when you let it soak, all the nutrition's are in there. So you could just uh, pour it, put some more water and go around and it will do more than just sticking it all in the plant. You just put it in the water. I let it soak for like a week, and then I put some more on, and then just um, stir it up like a little soup, and just feed all the babies. These um, collars, when they were babies, I used to give them a little bit of this compost, and they, they like it. Look at how big this guy is. 
Then I'm gonna give the other, this is the Japanese, so I'm gonna see how the um, Bagard likes it. And um, I don't think I, I put any compost. This I think it'd be my first time doing that one. So we'll have to just monitor and see how it goes. But I'm getting a lot of new growth I see over here. So that's really nice. You see the new babies coming up. So see, they're really loving this heat right now. Today it's supposed to be about, they said 109. So I said, I better come out here and um, see all these coffee. Cause you know, I'm a, I love my coffee. But all these coffees, you know, with carrots, just open them up, stick them in the water, stir it around. They like it, you know, just bananas, eggs, whatever. Just put it, let it soak, and then just put it in a can and just pour it into all your plants. And then when it's gone, pour more water because you still got the banana peels, you still got, you know, uh, still stuff in there that is still going to have more nutrition's in it than just water, right? So yeah, it works every time. All right. Now you see, now you see how I threw the, um, these little, uh, you see how I threw these in the water? See, all that. Cause see when you first uh, open these up, right? These pods from your carrot machine, right? There's so much coffee around the sides. But if you just throw it in the water, it'll get all those grinds out of there. You just pull them out, you know, throw them in the garbage. But you don't want to miss out on getting that, those coffee grinds because, grounds, because they, they like that. They like the coffee grounds. They like all kinds of stuff. You know, it all comes from the earth. So put it back. I'm going to give it back to them. Got my eggs in there, things like that. All right. And I just put more water in there. Keep it moving. I also like to add some of the fruit, fruit tree fertilizer. And I mix it right along with the compost. You know, why not? All right, family. Now it's time to get some new seeds planted. Last time we did seeds, we did the collards. And the collards, they seem to be doing well. These are just experiment. What the experiment is, because it's so hot right now in Sacramento, Instead of trying to do seeds in the house with lights and all that, why don't we see how it does just being outside here in the heat? So we're gonna do some uh, some watermelon. So let's uh, let's plant some of this watermelon. I think these get about uh, about 10 to 12 pounds. Um, so we're gonna see if we can get the seeds started. Put some seeds in here. Yeah, get us some watermelon. I think that'll be fun. What do you think? What do you guys think, family? Have you guys ever done watermelon before? Why not do something different? Yeah, put some holes there. Get some seed. Let's get some seeds. Okay, I'll we'll put a couple in each hole. Go. Yeah, they don't give you a lot of seeds, I see. Like when I got the collars, man, they were a bunch of seeds. I even had leftover. But these guys, they're, you know, didn't give too many seeds, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and cover them as so. We're going to do... We're gonna do some melon. Mm, I like melon. Yeah, this is the melon Crenshaw. This gets about, I think about 10 pounds. Let's go ahead and get some melon in here. I don't know how many seeds they gave us. But we're gonna get some melons in here. Let's get some seeds going. Isn't this fun, family? Just seeing what happens. Right. I'll show you what the seeds look like. Let's put them out here. Okay, see? They gave us more seeds in the melon than they do the um, watermelon. Put a couple in there. Put a couple in there. Put a couple in there. Put 
these last ones in a hole. There we go. There we go. Let's cover it up. I'm going to water very gently. Wow, what a beautiful day in Sacramento, California. I am in zone nine, and today's going to be another hot day, but an amazing day, a great day, and great weather to get some more of these sweet potato slips planted. So let's get these guys planted. All right, family, I'm going to be using this organic planting soil. I've never used this. I saw this over at the, um, I think it was Walmart. It says it's rich planting soil to amend garden beds and increase organic matter to grow bountiful vegetables, flowers, and herbs. It contains kelp and also alfalfa meal. Now, who doesn't want bountiful, bountiful vegetables? I want some, some bountiful vegetables. Well, let's get busy. All right, they're looking good. All right, this is wonderful some fertilizer in there all right I just love these little grow bags I've watched so many videos and watching people so successful using their just their garden bags because you just don't know where your sweet spots are and and just to be honest some sometimes it just grows better you know in the grow bag if you don't have you know good dirt or you know you're not being real lucky with the location at least with the grow bags you can move things around and that's awesome all right so we got the sweet potato slips planted we got them fertilized we got them mulched it's interesting because see these ones here these are supposed to be bagard right but look at the leaf look at these ones here these are supposed to be bagard too they have a different type of leaf and this is supposed to be bagard too so i don't know if the leaf is different from seed or from when you do your own slip from the potato. Now, this, look at that, look at that versus this type of leaf. These are all sweet potatoes, different types. You know, supposed to be Bagard sweet potatoes. This one here is supposed to be Bagard sweet potatoes, okay? But it looks like the same leaf as my Japanese sweet potato. So it's gonna be interesting you know, God willing, if um, the sweet potatoes do well enough to be able to see the difference and to taste the difference, that's my whole thing. It's just experimenting on what, if the sweet potatoes will harvest well here, and if they do, are they tasty? How can you tell which particular kind, you know, is wet? So um, it's gonna be a lot of fun, just checking it out and seeing what's the difference between the different sweet potatoes and are they bagards or are they japanese or are they something else because there's different type of sweet potatoes all right good morning it is garden tour saturday hey boo boo good morning good morning we got the crew out everybody's just lounged out hey mama what's happening what's happening everybody anyway we're gonna today is fertilizer day we got to get the fertilizing done let's take a look at the sweet potato it got a lot going on Clean out some of these areas here. And some people say, hey, you know, because, you know, it's been hot everywhere. You know, I don't care where you live. The weather, it's been, well, some people still getting rain, but in most places, it's pretty hot right now. Hotter than they normally experience. And people may wonder, hey, Oh, and be careful with uh, if you're doing sweet potatoes, because I, I know the wasps like to um, hide in here. I've had wasps in these places, and they, you know, they sleep in here. I don't know what they're doing in these these things here. I don't know if they're taking a nap or if they're pollinating. I don't know, but I've seen some around. But anyway, family, um, some people wonder, hey. Should we really be um, 
fertilizing when it's hot? And the question is yes. I mean, the answer is yes. Absolutely. You should be um, fertilizing. You want to fertilize. Regardless, it's summertime. Doesn't matter the heat. You still have to fertilize your plants. I don't care. They need it. They need it. And it's interesting when you're going inside. See how bushy this is? Now, when you go inside, it could be anything in here. Right? Look at that little black bug. I mean, you got bugs in here. All kind of stuff in here. Because that's what they do. Right? I'm just trying to get some of this uh, cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to move this over like this. I'm going to move all the sweet potatoes over like this. I'm going to take some of this fertilizer. Just do ever so gently. My husband comes out here and he waters really he likes to one thing i love about my husband when he waters he water he really waters really good and i notice the difference from when i water there we go Wow, how hot has it been over in your town? How hot has it been? Just want to get some to follow the vines. See, just open it. There we go. Two are cute. Hi, white Paul. What you doing? Hmm? What you doing in there? What you doing? Just do a little bit. That's good. Yep. Get a little bit in there. That away. Fertilizer. It's perfect. 
All right, so this is the Japanese uh, sweet potato that we just fertilized. We're gonna do the uh, the bagard. Let's take a look. Wow, look at this family. Look at how it's just getting new leaves. It's doing very well. It's enjoying the heat and the sweet potatoes like it really hot. So yeah, look at these beautiful leaves. Yeah, so they it definitely needs some, some fertilization. This part of life. This one's a lot easier to do than the other one. The other one is, this one's a lot easier to do. The other one is so big. This is right. This is right. Very nice. Mm -hmm. find interesting is even though you have a small garden man you can easily be out here for hours you know what I'm saying so if I'm out here sometimes for four or five hours repotting or doing a project just think people that have you know acres of land on how much time it must be but I'll tell you sometimes my poor little back is hurting you know Especially if you're working as well, you know. Not easily, people can spend, you know, just hours and hours being outside, working on their garden, their house. All right. Yeah, I got these banana plants all over. Remember, I got these banana plants, but it's been so hot, you know. But you know what? I want to build their resistance. I'm gonna put them, they said, you know, with these little small banana plants, it's good to put them uh, underneath other plants, you know, so they can get shade. And like, it's been 111, and look, still growing. I want them to build their resistance and see if they can handle this weather. And some of them may die, and some of them may not. Let me see what's going on with the ones back here. Yeah, look at this guy. Yeah, he's hanging in there. Look at that. So yeah, so just leave them. You know, these plants, you know, you could baby them and keep them in the house, but they're plants. You want them to go outside and um, build up their resistance. Um, <laughs> not to be funny, just like they told us with COVID, you know, you gotta try to build up your immune system. So when it, when it got really hot, I said, you know what? I'm gonna put these around other plants. You know, you could even really like, I could take this plant and just sit them in here with the sweet potatoes one day. Just sit them in here, sit them like this and just put them in the shade, right? And they'll grow right along with those sweet potatoes. <laughs> you know, plants, you know, or they may not like the sweet potato. I mean, every plant is different, but the main thing is, you want them to be outside. Just like uh, with my seedlings, you know, I said, instead of doing hot lamps and putting them in the house, it's so hot. Why don't I just try to do it outside? Let's take a look at th these guys. And yesterday, it was about a hundred and, uh, they said 13. I saw 111 from my car. But look at the collards. They've been out here. Look, they've been out here and 107 degrees and um, I haven't watered them today yet but I've been keeping them watered see that you know I hope they they survive you know I don't know they're still little it's, a, it's, an, it's an experiment this one's getting a lot wow look at that guy so 
I just put them out here when it wasn't, when they said it was going to be hot. I didn't, you know, bring them all in the house. I said, well, we'll see how they do. And I just check on them. Like all my chili, these ones, these ones, you know how they get withered. And I moved them around. And um, matter of fact, these got to come out. You guys got to come out, honey. Yeah, these were all withered. But I don't worry about it. You know, that's what they do. And uh, that's why I want to come out here and fertilize them. And uh, wow, you guys are doing good. Look at these chilies. Yeah, honey. They doing good. Yeah, so let's go finish fertilizing. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. But oh yeah, I got some more banana plants over here. I just put them all over the place. I ordered two, but they gave me like nine. Look at this guy. He's growing. Look. Look, he even got a new. You just want to just put him. I just put him around the other ones and, and see how he's going to do. And it was really hot, beating hot. And I said, well, I just put him out here. Here's another one. Here's another banana plant. See, just put them out here. And whatever grows, grows. Whatever don't make it, don't make it. It's as simple as that. Nothing we can do. You know, you can baby plants all day, keep them inside and try to, you know. But, I mean, we have enough garden space where you can find a shade. But, um, uh, like, I was watching some a guy's video. And that's what gave me the idea. He said... You know, just uh, put them with other plants. So if you put them with other plants, oh, this I gotta I gotta redo this guy. This is a um, this is a cucumber. This is a cucumber plant it's sitting over here. But yeah, when, when it gets hot, I just move these. Okay. See, this is a, another bana banana plant. Yep, so we'll we'll get all these little guys fertilized. I just put them. See how he's down there? I just put them back there with the other plants. So they could be outside. And this banana plant, look at this look for this banana plant. He's just been sitting out here. He's getting a new thing. So he's building up his little resistance. I gave this little banana plant some compost. They all got compost and everything. And I just put them back here with the other plants and it'd be so hot out here but you know what if they make it they make it if they don't they don't we just have to learn from it and find you know you want to find that sweet spot but you're not going to find the sweet spot hiding them in the house or trying to no they're plants they got to find a way to survive so i just move them all around and see what's what and if they don't look like they're happy like my avocados these avocados, oh my God. I was every every time I turned around, they were just leaves were just getting brown. And look, they were out all day in a hundred and eleven degrees. Look. They're all green. I don't see no brown leaves. Oh, here goes one. That's not bad for them in that kind of heat. But other than that, look. But they used to be over here. They used to be over there. <laughs> Last year, they were over there, right? One of them, so I had one, was it? No, I'm sorry, it wasn't these. These, are, these ones I didn't have last year. Oh, it was my, my um, this guy, the fig. The fig used to be back there. Then the fig was over here. Then the fig, I moved over here, and then he started getting his babies. So you have to find that sweet spot, right? You never know. Uh, what they like so you have to watch your plants so like these guys were back there and uh the little climbers and i said well let me put them back here let me get some more of these did you see how they like to wrap their selves around things so i'm going to have this plant work its way around the back all the way around the back but i gotta get some more of these so they can hold on to something so because you know vines can be behind other plants and they like that so i'm just gonna let him go all the way around as he grows, see how he's grown right here? I'm gonna put another one of these. And then he can start wrapping himself around all the way around. He can go all the way around. That'd be nice. I don't know if, if he'll make it that long. You know, you never know with these plants, but that's that's the um, <laughs> that's that's the plan. That's the plan. 
but let's finish. Man, look at this is a small garden, but I gotta fertilize all these guys. Man, and then I still got planning to do. And I even got I got a show. Hey mama. Hey Sammy. Hello, Tommy. Hey boo boo. I have a I have a, a audience out here. They're like, what is she doing now? Yeah, honey. Yep. Yep. I got an audience, so I gotta get this work done. So even if you got mulch, that's all right. Watch out, little boo boo. <laughs> I'm gonna fertilize you, boo boo. You see, I'm cats or something now. They know what you're doing. Get this. This is the um, this is the fig tree. Are you trying to hit me, Boo Boo? No, oh, you think this is a little game. I thought you were gonna help me fertilize, Boo Boo. Oh, you wanna play, huh? All right, Boo Boo. Come on, Boo Boo. We gotta hurry up, Boo Boo, because it's gonna get hot today. We don't wanna be out here when it's hot, right? We could play inside. Watch out, little boo-boo. Watch out, little boo-boo. Little boo-boo. Come on. Let's move it. Spoiled cats. But they're learning, too. They're learning, too. See, this is the, uh, the blueberry lemonade shrub. I'm going to leave this one out. I normally hide them in the back because they like it in the back where it's shady. But um, I'm going to put them out here so my husband can really water this guy good. Look at all the leaves. Wow. He's getting some new leaves coming in. Beautiful. Looks nice. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Yeah, but this one I'm going to fertilize. I'm actually going to probably repot this one. I bet you, I mean, yeah, look at that. Yeah, this one, maybe after the summer. We'll see what I'm going to do with this shrub. But definitely want to uh, fertilize this guy as well. I tell you, these... Uh, these shrubs, they drink a lot of water. My goodness. They are thirsty, though. Good. Especially these stuff is the shrub. You really have to water them good. Oh yeah. Now over here, we have the uh, flame seedless grapes. And these are doing pretty good. It looks like they're growing real nice. 
that many too. So, yeah, so these are the seedless grapes. I want to get these guys fertilized. It's getting a lot of new growth over here. Wow, look at that. Yeah. So like I said, I want to train them to go all the way around the back of the yard. So um, I got to get some more of these these guys because they like to, you know, they like to climb on stuff. So yeah, that's, that'd be cool. We'll see how it goes. I see they got some new some new uh, babies coming up too. So, this guy. But they look like they're doing pretty good during this heat. Yeah. But even though, I, you know, we, we, some of us have to work as well. Even though I was at work, I was actually making sure I check them in the morning when I get home and just make sure that they're, um, you yeah, know, that they're, they're not drying up or they're not, um, are you trying to grab from this? I tell you, these fine. They uh, they be all over the place. Look at this guy. All right. Oops. All right. All right. You gonna come inside with me, but <laughs> it's funny. Oh, um, we got some more over here. Get your get your get your buddy over here. Got two seatless grapes here, but they seem like they're doing okay over here. I mean, I think they were doing better where they were, but it just wasn't a, a place that they could really vine the way they like to grab on things, and it wasn't going to be a good uh, place for them um, to be free. Over here, they could be free. They can just grow all over this yard. I don't care. We just walk around them. Yeah. Here, they're free to just grow all over. Yep. Yeah. So we got these guys. Great. Yeah. I should have mulched these ones. So we'll make sure we you know, put some mulch on this after, maybe after your watering, and then a little bit. Um, yeah. What we can do. And this is another. This is another banana plant. See these banana plants? This is another one that's been out here during the heat. But see, still growing. That's what I want. I want them to build them up to be able to handle being outside when it's hot, when it's cold. And the only way you do it is you have to experiment and find out where they're sweet. Where's the sweet spot at? That's what I do with all my guys. I have to always constantly, that's what's good about container gardening is um, you can find out where the sweet spots are. And then when you find out, then you can go ahead and put it in the ground because he's already been through some things, right? You feel confident making the best decision for your plant. Yeah. So this guy, I just let him do I just let him do their thing. Let them stay down there. And the grape plant give him some shade. Yeah. And we'll see how he'll do in the long term. Now this lemon, this particular lemon has not produced any well in the beginning of the year it did have I think it was two lemons and after that we didn't get nothing more not even it, it flowered but after it flowered it's pretty much just uh, the flowers just died out and didn't give us any any fruit no lemons no citrus but that's okay we know he's capable you know they, you know they've done it before. They can do it again. Yeah. 
I think, uh, I believe it's gonna do better. I think so. Here's my blueberry. As you guys been, sh you know, watching some of the previous videos, I've been getting a lot of blueberries from my guy here. And he's still got some more little ones coming up. And so does his brother or sister over there. So we're gonna get this guy. Wow. He's been doing a good job producing all the delicious blueberries. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, check it out. I mean, look at all the blueberries, this beautiful bush um, uh, gave us. We had some really good cookies. We had a blueberry ice cream. I mean, man, just a beautiful plant. So we're gonna also fertilize our blueberry, right? It's nice to have a little massage. Yeah, little plants getting a little massage. Man, and this um, fertilizer is getting so expensive. I think this one was, I think it was seventeen dollars. By the time I finish shaking all these plants, I'm gonna need some more. Because you don't. You don't want to be stingy with it. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure it gets underneath there and they get what, what they need. Especially when they're producing goodies for you. Yeah. You want to make sure they get what they need. this one out and yeah like I was um, sharing before I put those I set them in buckets after I water them really good I set them in buckets that way they're getting their water and uh, they can you know have enough what they need yeah that's nice Here's the second blueberry. And this guy, he's producing a lot. He's doing very well. So we wanna make sure we also continue to fertilize him. And I also soak him up in buckets as well. See all that? They get some, um... <laughs> it's funny because when I make them blueberry cookies, if you watched the previous video, um... <laughs> Everybody thought it was my husband eating them, but it was my roommate. She was eating up all the cookies. So, it was more, so when my husband got up this morning, he was like, you didn't send me no cookies? And I said, well, because um, I was so tired. And, you know, it was really hot that day. And I got home and I saw the blueberries. I said, well, I got to use them because I don't want them to go bad, right? So I quickly made the cookies. I said, babe, you want some cookies? He was like, no, I'm full. I just ate. I said, okay. So I guess he was planning on having little cookies later. But um, in the meantime, my roommate, she was enjoying the cookies. She put them in the freezer for them to get hard. But when um, she just liked them, so she kept eating them. And there was about two left, right? I think I showed on the video, there's just a couple left. And um, he was upset. He was like, man, I didn't get no cookies. And I said, well, I asked you. You said you didn't want any. I said, and, you know, there was only like two left. And um, when I got home from work, I asked Leanna, I said, hey, how'd you like those cookies? She said, oh, I ate them up. I said, okay. So I was gonna make some more cookies. I said, well, let me see if there's uh, blueberries enough to make um, some more cookies. And, you know, maybe next week I might have enough to make some more, because it looks like a bunch of them are coming up again. Because you only need, you know, I put over a cup. I think I put a cup and a half of blueberries I just had so many and I had you know made some ice cream and all that and I had all those blueberries I said I was gonna make muffins but then I said you know what let me just do some cookies 
I was watching this lady's, um, she had a, a, a video on blueberry cookies. I said, um, well, let me, let me try to make some, some cookies. And they were really good. Um, yeah, so definitely I'm going to make some more cookies because my husband, he, um, <laughs> he was, oh, let me tell you what kind of, in case you ever want to get this kind of blueberry, uh, plant. This is called a, uh, hey, hi. Well, what's going on? You want to give me a hug? Well, hi. Hi, honey. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Sammy? Oh, he's sweet. He just came and gave me a little hug. Okay. But, um, okay, Sammy, I gotta, I gotta finish this, honey. But this is called, uh, Sammy. Come on. Some of these cats, I tell you. So this is called a, uh, sharp blue blueberry. We can even do the little collar. I mean, yeah. Doing a really good water. It's looking good. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Get all that fertilizer in there. It's doing a great job. He's already done all this here. Yeah. I had to get out that heat. So I'm up here and I can see Robert still out there watering real good the plants. Hi, honey. Yeah, looking nice. You're not hot out there? Oh, you're getting hot. Yeah, get in here, honey. You only got a little bit more to go. And come on in. Watch us a movie and kick back. We off today. Yeah, he's doing a good job out there. Robert is doing an excellent job. Alright, alright, this is our ending of Garden Tour Saturday and we had an amazing day. Today was a day of fertilizing and just getting some seeds in that needed to be potted and also some uh, slips. I had my sweet potato uh, slips planted so they got um, all the sweet potatoes planted and the other ones are just doing great. And we got the melons and the watermelons planted. We got everything fertilized. Everything got fertilized and water it really really well it's a beautiful day it's been really hot here in sacramento but family i want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching and um you know just uh continue to support one to another please come back and just you know follow me and, and just kind of see how things are going in my journey with my garden but i want to thank you guys for watching god bless and please on the way out hit that like smash that notification bell and subscribe to your sister channel peace out